Well, hey everyone, welcome to this week's video devotion. I am outside today, as you can tell. It's Monday, March the 11th, um, and I am at 60 something degrees. I'm able to sit out in the church prayer garden. So, this month of March, we are looking at the spiritual fruit of faithfulness. It's one of the nine things that Paul mentions in Galatians 5 22 and 23 as part of the fruit of the Spirit. And the words faith and faithfulness are used a lot of different ways in the Bible. It's kind of a multifaceted word. Um, and even trying to define it, it gets multifaceted. But I, I think the passage that we have for today out of Romans 12, 12 is a great definition of what it means to be faithful. Paul writes in Romans 12, 12, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant or faithful, some translations say, in prayer. That's faithfulness. Rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, constant in prayer. Let's let's break that down a little bit. Rejoice in hope. What is hope? Well, hope is what we do while we wait for God to keep his promise. God has made us promises. God will keep those promises. And that's that's a future certainty. And so we hope. We await God keeping his promise. God keeps his promise. Our response to that is hope. And the second one is be patient in tribulation. You know, we live in a world that's imperfect. Every relationship we have is going to be touched by sin. Nothing around us is perfect. That means there's going to be trouble. There's going to be conflict. There's going to be tribulation. And Paul's words there to us are be patient in tribulation. In other words, life is hard. Our response to that is patience. And then finally, be constant in prayer. That's part of our faithfulness. Keep that conversation with God open. Keep it going. We can't, we can't be in relationship with someone we never talk to. So be constant. Keep that relationship, that, that relationship going through prayer. Keep that conversation with God ongoing. Be constant in prayer. Think about that as a definition for faithfulness this week. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. God's blessing on your week as God grows that fruit of faithfulness in you and uses it to bless the people around you. Bye-bye.